Today, seven years after full-scale development began, a Peacekeeper missile, the ninth in the test series, sits in its launch facility at Vandenberg Air Force Base, California, awaiting the first silo launch. Peacekeeper, the United States' most advanced and technically sophisticated ICBM, is a four-stage system that will deliver up to 10 Mark 21 independently targeted re-entry vehicles over 5,000 miles to their targets and deliver them more accurately than any previous missile. Peacekeeper is nearly three times the weight of the Minuteman III at approximately 195,000 pounds and is 71 feet long and 92 inches in diameter. It is designed to be ejected by a gas generator from a canister placed in a modified Minuteman silo. The missile ignites after ejection, rather than in the silo like previous ICBMs. The Air Force Systems Command's Ballistic Missile Office, BMO, headquartered at Norton Air Force Base, California, directs the design, development, construction, testing, and operations of the Peacekeeper program by integrating the efforts of highly skilled teams of associate contractors located across the United States. The Air Force Western Space and Missile Center at Vandenberg Air Force Base, California, is the nerve center for all Peacekeeper flight test launch operations. Here, the design, fabrication, and pre-launch testing come together in the ultimate realization of the years of planning and efforts on the part of thousands of people who have contributed to the program. Since June 1983, Peacekeeper's flight test program has reached new technological heights. The first eight test missile launches were from above ground. Here, potential problems were evaluated, irregularities identified, and corrective actions implemented. The remaining 12 test missile launches will be from canisters located in modified Minuteman test silos. This first silo launch will use the new Peacekeeper operational ground and flight support equipment and procedures. An additional objective of this first silo launch is to evaluate the performance of the six Mark 21 re-entry vehicles. These flight test efforts are essential milestones in the development program that leads to Peacekeeper's deployment. Three of Vandenberg's Minuteman launch facilities have undergone major modifications, both in preparation for this flight and future silo launches. These major modifications were started in early 1984. The Minuteman silos were completely stripped of equipment and have been reconfigured to support the Peacekeeper missile system. Launch facility number five will initially be used for ground testing, while launch facility number eight is to be used for the current flight test series. An additional launch facility, number two, is being modified to support test launches beginning in 1986. The silo equipment installed includes both the missile shock isolation system and the electronics to operate it. For flights one through eight, all missile subsystems came together at the missile assembly building. The missile was assembled vertically with each major component, the motor stages and re-entry system, being mated together inside the canister. The canisterized missile was then transported to the test launch stand. For this first silo launch, the empty canister is installed in the silo, and the stage is mated and checked out there. To start the assembly sequence, the canister is placed on the rotation fixture in the high bay area of the mechanical maintenance facility. The shock isolation system, air elevator reel, and support equipment are installed. After the canister is instrumented and system checkout is concluded, the completed unit is driven to the launch facility. There, the canister is lowered into the modified Minuteman silo and readied for buildup of the missile itself, which is comprised of three solid propellant motor stages, one liquid propellant engine stage, and the guidance and re-entry systems. Stage one is lowered into the canister and mated to the support assembly. 
the air elevator then lowers the assembly to the mating level in preparation for receiving the next stage. Stage two is then mated to stage one. Finally, stage three is mated to stage two. The liquid propellant stage four is received and inspected at the installation and checkout facility. Its instrumentation and flight safety components are installed. At the payload assembly building, the re-entry system, consisting of the Mark 21 re-entry vehicles, the antenna, and protective shroud is processed, assembled, and tested. The completed re-entry system is transported to the installation and checkout facility. Here, the re-entry system is mated to stage four. This now completed post-boost vehicle is then checked out and transported to the launch facility where it is mated to the completed booster. After exhaustive checks of the entire system, control of the missile is transferred to the Peacekeeper Launch Control Facility. The instrumentation and flight safety telemetry will be monitored at the Western Space and Missile Center's Test Operations Control Center. Pre-launch preparation and final countdown checks are performed. Within the last few minutes of the count, a number of commands are entered into the system by the launch team, which brings the Peacekeeper to the final countdown. This first silo launch has demonstrated the ability to successfully launch a Peacekeeper missile from a modified Minuteman silo. Also proven were the modified Minuteman electronics, as well as the all-new electronics, silo support, and launch systems specifically developed for Peacekeeper. In addition, this successful flight once again demonstrated the missile's performance by flawlessly delivering its payload to the targeted terminal area. The test program is designed to support the initial operational capability scheduled for late 1986. Subsequent testing will complete the system demonstration and provide reliability data. Through this successful first silo launch, the Air Force Ballistic Missile Office has continued its series of achievements in the Peacekeeper program. BMO will continue to strive for excellence in the development of our nation's most effective deterrent, the Peacekeeper ICBM. <laughs>